Hey everybody, Bill and Deb. Hi there. Well, we're slowly on our way back to Arkansas. Yes, we're on our way home. Yeah, we're on our way home. <laughs> well, we are home. Well. So it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. We're always home, aren't we? We always yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. But that other home where we have to take care of business now and then, that that's the other home. And see my babies. And see our kids and grandkids and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, we're slowly making our way home and we stopped off at this campground and we're going to be here for a few days, but the, and we normally wait a while before we do a review of the campground so we can get a better feel of how it lays out and everything. But the weather forecast for the rest of our stay is not looking good. It's, yeah. Looks like it's going to rain. Maybe it's, it's like, you know, it's spring. Let's rain. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and take you on a little ride through this particular campground. It's a beautiful campground. What's the name of the campground, dear? It's Clear Springs Campground on the right Patman Lake in Texas. Yeah, we're not very far at all from... Uh, Texarkana. I, I almost said Hot Springs. <laughs> Texarkana. <laughs> Texarkana, and we are on the uh, Texas side, as Deb mentioned. So anyway, let's get going and see what we got here. Yes. Are you ready, dear? I'm absolutely ready. All right. Be right back. All right. We're at the back side of the gate, and they do have a a rail there. A rail. It's not a, a rail. rail. <laughs> it's a gate. It's a gate. And uh, they do give you a code when you come through, uh, because they do close that at 7 o'clock at night. And they give you this code. Now, don't give them our code, dear. <laughs> Well, you I get, saw you looking at our code. Well, she had said she wrote it down on the back of our, you know, our hanging our, thingy. Our, our hangy thingy. And, yeah. uh, but it, they also send you an email with the gate code. Okay, they do that as well. So if you come in after the gate's locked, you can still get in. Now, I was going to drive all the way to the back and start coming up because actually the A section is all the way to the end. But I don't know. Uh, I think it might take too long to do that. So why don't we go ahead and start uh, where the first section is, right after you go through the gate. You okay with that, dear? I don't care. Um, you don't care? No, this campground has 100 plus sites. Uh, we're going into section D, and this is sites D 1 through 20, and it's right after you go through the gate. And D has water, electric, and sewer. Yes. And they are $26 a night. And if you have the senior discount, uh, of course you get 50% off of that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very cool. It's got lots of shade. Sewer. Oh yeah, lots of tall pine trees in here in section D. And D has, well you already said one through 20. Yeah, one through 20. And they have the uh, required speed bumps now and then, which is a good thing. Keep the hot rodder slowed down. <laughs> I didn't realize they had sites for sewer. I didn't either when I no. made our reservation. Yeah. <laughs> That'll teach me to put one of those things in my filters. Yeah. But it's a uh, quite a few units in here. I saw a couple of empty units, and this is Saturday. What's the date today, dear? Twenty second. Yeah, believe. April twenty second. Saturday, April twenty second. Sides 1 through 20 in the D section, which is the very first section you come to when you go through the gate. Now, this campground's been here a while, so the roads, as you can tell, are kind of bumpy. And oh, yeah. Got the typical, you know, ruts and stuff. The sides themselves are a little narrow, but I believe they're all paved. Now, here's something. Uh, now, E section. Go up here to the E section. And they are 1 through 21, and they also have sewer at There's the side. But you can always check your amenities for each site or put it in your filter that you want sewer. And that pops up and shows you the sites that has that. Looks like that gentleman was cooking with a Blackstone grill. <laughs> That's on, invite it's on, us. It's on my list. Yes, it's on the list. 
So there were what 21 sites in the east section? I believe that is correct. And yeah, I see sewer. I see sewer. Mm -hmm. Now, as you know, among these tall pine trees, very little grass grows. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. They have brought in hard packed gravel for most of the sites close to where around the picnic tables. Makes it a little nicer. They yep. still say E. Okay, then. I'm We're still rolling. in the E section. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, there's, what, 41 sites that have sewer? I believe so. Okay. Yeah, actually, 40. They said 40 with water, electric, and sewer when okay. I did my filter. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Which is very cool. Yeah. For a core park. Yeah. And the prize. You can't beat that. All right. Now well, we're turning left again. We drove through the first two loops that you come by when you leave the gate. Now let's buzz on down here. Boy, look at those beautiful, <laughs> tall pine trees. We like pine trees because they're always green no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> Which is nice. Which is really nice. dumpsters they have bathhouses one of the things they have are they call these screened shelters yeah we'll swing through and this is also where your first boat ramp is right here not quite sure how you go about reserving them they have to be on the you know the yeah. things that you can reserve I just haven't figured that part out yet boat ramp down here. Looks like this one's getting a new roof or they're still building it. One or the other. Yep. Well, it makes it kind of looks like they're rebuilt, still building it because yeah. they yeah. haven't got that part They haven't got the yet. tent pad part done yet. Well, now that's just pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It's really neat, but don't know much about it. Nope. Now this is um, what you see to your right. Let me get back up here on the main road. certainly does <laughs> it's got a beautiful view now there's a lot of sites here that have a real pretty view of the lake and of course it's april still but yeah, and the weather can't decide whether it be warm or cold yeah but what we're seeing right now uh, is fishermen so it's obvious that it's quite a fisherman's lake now this is the group camp area and they have quite a pavilion in this group camp area, which is appears to be all screened in. You know, I can see a big family having their meet up oh, here, yeah. or a company, I guess, with, for those retreats they like to do. <laughs> yeah, but you know, and they've got uh, picnic tables all along there. Uh, but this is the group camping loop, you might say. pretty cool. I didn't thing. notice how many sites are in here. Um, I think 10 camping sites. Okay. I think they just have water and electric, however. No sewer. No. No, the only ones that had sewers, those other ones we just came through. Now we're going to go across the road and go into the B section. back up here a little bit. The campsites themselves are fairly level. Bill had to, uh, we had to raise it on one side a little bit uh, to so make it level. This is the B section here, isn't it, dear? This is, I believe, B. Yeah. B is where we are at. Yeah. In 
B is 1 through 19. B 1 through 19, 19 sites. Of course, you can see the, the lake right there. And your beautiful yard yeah. that's manicured. All these sites here <laughs> along the, yeah, all these sites here <laughs> along the water's edge, you know, are have a really, really nice view of the lake. There are some opposite on the other side of the road. Let me swing over here and see if you can see. And then this is our site. And we've got someone looks like they're looking at our gazebo. Probably just wanting to know a little bit about it. But yeah, they all have a really, really nice view. Let me loosen that up and get a little bit better angle. But they have a really nice view of the water. It's too bad the sun isn't shining. Yeah, when the sun was shining yesterday when we pulled in, it was absolutely gorgeous. Now, this site right up here, maybe Deb can see what the number is on it. But they've got a real neat balcony. It's a pull-through site. I think that's the one they put a picture of, and that's what yeah. I was expecting. Yeah, that's I'm kind of thinking that would be ours. That's B14. Yeah. Site B14 it's has a really yeah. water, electric, and a nice deck. Yeah, really nice deck there. Now it is a little tricky backing into some of these sites, but you can see there's some really good sized rigs here, so you know <laughs> it can be done. It can be done. Alrighty. Let's head on down. Yeah. That this, is for Blue Boys. Yeah, let me swing in there and let's show you that right you quick know, on the way. That was one of the uh, issues last weekend when we were all camping and people had Blue Boys and they didn't want to go to the regular dump station. You know. <laughs> but here you are. Now this, yeah. It's like, on a like, ramp so you can wheel it up there easily. You got two holes right there. To, so if you use a Blue Boy, uh, right there, there you go. Boy, you couldn't ask for anything better than that. Of course, we, uh, we have a special system where we can pump everything off into the tank, into, into a gray tank we carry in the van. And they had, they had a campus here when we checked in. Very nice lady. Very nice lady. And while we're here, here's one of the group shelters right here. This rents, I think they said it would accommodate 40 people, rents for $40, I mean 100 people, and rents for $40 a night. Yeah, Ver verify that though, you know, yes. call and verify that, but uh, that's how it appears on the uh, on the map. Yeah. We're pretty sure this is the one they were talking about. Let me get back. And no, we haven't checked out the bathhouses because we don't. I keep forgetting to do that. We keep forgetting to do that, but we uh, we, we don't use, use our, them. <laughs> no, we uh, we built our cargo conversion so it was like a house, and we you know wouldn't have to do that. But, exactly. So anyway. Now we're going down, and it's a little bit down here to the A section. Yeah. And over here at the A section, as far as I can determine, they all have water and electric. They have a playground for the kids. Yeah, let me catch that. There's the playground right there. And they have a walking trail that goes back up and it's paved. I've seen, I've seen several little walking trails that yeah. take off here and there. Some of them are paved and some of them are, are not. You're down in here, you are on the water basically, most sites. You've got a water view anyway. It has a bathhouse here too.
right, now this is the A section here, which is, you know, at the far end of the campground. And it's uh, 1 through 25. So 25 sites. Now this little section right in here um, that you're looking at starts with, looks like A2. I would say that's like a group area because uh, the little uh, covered picnic tables are two picnic tables and it looks like two sites would share them to me is what it looks like. So you better be very friendly with your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and of course you got a you know nice view of the water and right here you can pull your boats up you know right up on the bank which a lot of the fishermen there are doing. A few empty ones here and there, but for the most part, they're all pretty full. There's a floor covering installer, <laughs> tile guy. I'll feel for you, buddy. Used to do that. A lot of tent campers down in here today. Yeah, you walked down and looked at the water. Yeah. And it was a little bit... A little on the murky side. It's, you have to understand that we are spoiled rotten. Yeah. With, well, with Arkansas With Arkansas lakes. lakes. <laughs> that are pretty much clear. But this one isn't too bad. No, not bad. Alrighty. Alright, once again, this is Clear Springs Campground. Texas. Near Texarkana, is, Texas. It's a recreation.gov. It's yep. where you go to rent, get your reservation. And uh, it's one of those that I think we would come back to. Oh, yeah. On our way down, you know, yeah. if we decided to take this route, we just wanted to take a different route back home. So we thought, hey, what, what the heck? Let's check out some stuff in East Texas. So. Well, we've never camped in East Texas. Yeah. This is true. Never have. And dear, if you get out on your e-bike, yes. the speed limit is 15 miles an hour. I saw that. So, you're going to have to, you know, watch your speed. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'll have to do that for sure. Uh, and here we are back at our home. Yeah. We'll be right back. Well, there. <laughs> yep, there you have it. My favorite site, I think, is where I'm at, which is B7. Yeah. I have a great view. Now, I don't have a lot of shade. That's but, true. Um, we've got an awesome view, and um, wasn't too hard to back in. No, no, no. And as far as no shade, not very much shade is concerned, uh, our mini split more than compensates for that. Oh, yeah, I'm not worried yeah. about that. <laughs> so we're fine. But anyway, it is a very pretty campground. Uh, we're going to be here for a few days, and then we're going to move on. Got a few things to do while we're here in the area. For one thing, we got to go do laundry. It's only been three weeks. I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> we're doing well for only being three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I've had a fresh shirt to wear every single day. And... Yeah, we obviously are carrying too much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I did I did go buy a bag of socks. That's true. Yeah, but a man can never have too many socks, as far as I'm <laughs> concerned. Anyway, folks, we're going to let you go. Our next stop uh, on our way back to Northwest Arkansas will be at a campground we've never been to on Lake Dardanelle near uh, Russellville, Arkansas. Yeah. Right. And maybe we'll get lucky and see a gator. Maybe, because the gators are in that yeah. lake. <laughs> yeah, they say there's gators in that lake. Not very many, but they say there are. So, uh, hopefully, I can have some proof. You, you saw know. a gator at the last camp, right? I know we saw a gator. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell him that. Oh. Yeah. 
But yeah, <laughs> don't the know last, about this one. The last campground we were at before we got here, which was down near Jasper, Texas, mm -hmm. we didn't get an opportunity to film it because we had so much stuff going on. It was unreal. Well, we had visitors. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of friends <laughs> met us there. But I did get a gator, a huge gator. They're probably, they're probably looking at it right now. You got a picture. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Well, I didn't get him. I wouldn't <laughs> he, want to grab that guy. He didn't guy. wrestle him an alligator. No, 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 no. <laughs> but that was on Lake Steinhagen. Right. Yeah. Anyway, next stop, uh, Russellville, Arkansas, Lake Dardanelle. And we'll take you on a tour of that campground. But for now, this is Bill and Deb saying, we're not camping. We are living. Y'all get out there and do some living. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.